Today I'm showing you how to make this retro flower pattern in Procreate from start to finish. It's seamless, it scales cleanly and I'll also share some quick tricks for colouring and workflow whilst keeping your design flexible for reuse. Let's begin. With Procreate open, we first need to create a new canvas. So tap the plus icon. This is located in the top right corner of the Procreate window. Then tap the new canvas icon. We now need to set up our canvas size and metrics. This pattern will be created using a square canvas. So here is where we will set the size of the canvas. To do this, we'll first need to set the metrics. I'm setting mine in inches and making the size 12 by 12. If you want a bigger or smaller canvas, you can adjust these settings accordingly. Then check that the DPI is set to 300. Once your canvas dimensions are set, select the color profile tab. This is located on the left hand side of the screen. How you set this will depend on what you will be using the pattern for. So a general guide is if you are going to print your pattern onto any textiles or products, then you should select a CMYK colour profile. If your design will be used and displayed on a screen, then you will need to select an RGB colour profile. Once you've done this, tap the create button, which is located on the top right corner of the screen. Now it's time to select the brush we will be using for this pattern and check a couple of settings. To do this, tap the brush icon. This will open up the brush library. On the left hand side, scroll and select calligraphy and then select the monoline brush. Tap the brush icon again to close the brush library and return to the canvas. On the left hand side of the screen there are two adjustment dials. One is for opacity and one is for the size of the brush. We want both of these set to 100. Now for the colour choices. You can use any combination of two or three colours. For the colours in this pattern I am going to use black and white to start with but shortly I will show you how to change these to any colour you want quickly and easily. So first we'll need to set the petal colour which I will be making in black. To do this tap the colour button, this opens up the colour pop-up window. At the bottom left of the colour pop-up window tap disc and use two fingers or a finger and thumb to expand the circle. Then double tap inside the black area. This will set it to jet black which is what I want. Tap the colour button again to close it. Now we are ready to create our assets. So let's draw a complete circle. But before you lift the pencil, gently hold it and with your other hand, tap onto the canvas and hold it gently. This sets it to a perfect circle. Then you first release the pencil and then release your finger. Next, tap the transform tool. Here we need to check a couple of settings. So if you tap the snapping icon, you can check that both magnetics and snapping are on. Also check that the distance and velocity are set to max. Tap the snapping icon again to close the settings panel. On the same row, move along and tap fit to canvas. Tap the transform tool this will close the transform settings and set the circle in place. Now we will need to drag the petal colour in to fill the circle shape. But before lifting the pencil, gently drag it to the right to fill inside the circle outline completely. The reason we do this is because if we simply just drag the colour on, sometimes depending on the shape you're filling or the brush you're using, some pixels may get missed. And obviously that's not ideal unless it's a design choice. You can zoom in to check your edges. Now we need to turn on alpha lock. 
One way to do this is to tap the layers icon. This will open the layers panel. Tap the circle layer and select alpha lock. The alternative way is by using two fingers to swipe right on the layer. This will also set it to alpha lock. Now we will need to duplicate this circle layer four times. To duplicate it, swipe left on the layer and select duplicate. Repeat this three more times. We should now have five circle layers. We will now select the top circle layer and change the colour to your chosen disc colour, which in my case is white. Then tap the colour button and select disc. Expand the disc, then double tap inside the white area and drag this onto the disc to fill it. Go back to the Layers panel, tap the layer and rename Disk. Select the next layer so that it's the only one selected, then tap the Transform tool. Now scale it down to the bottom left quadrant until it snaps perfectly. You can use the magnetics and snapping guidelines to help check this. Then deselect it. Open the layers panel and select the next layer. Tap the transform tool and scale this circle to the bottom right quarter. Deselect it. Going back to our layers, select the next one, tap transform and repeat as before, but to the top left quarter. Deselect it. Select the next circle layer. Go back to the transform tool and scale this down to the top right quarter and deselect it. Now we're going to merge these petal layers into one. To do this, open the layers panel and pinch all the black circle layers together. Tap and rename this layer to petals. Add a new layer, tap the layer and rename it to background. This will be the background layer of our pattern. We need to fill this layer with our background colour, which in my case is white. So with your background colour selected, tap the layer and select fill layer. Now. Tap and hold the background layer and drag it underneath the petals layer. Next, select the disc layer and tap the transform tool. Scale it down to an exact quarter. Then snap it to the center and deselect it. Go back to the Layers panel, select the Petals layer and duplicate it four times. This gives us five petal layers. Next, select the Disc layer and duplicate it four times. We should now have five disc layers. Now swipe right on the remaining disc layers and all five petal layers. Tap the transform tool 
and scale them down to an exact quarter. Then drag the selection to the center and tap the transform tool to deselect them. Now in this part, we're working with more layers than usual, but stick with me, we'll get through this effortlessly. So tap the top disc layer and swipe right on the top petals layer to add it to the selection and tap the transform tool and drag to the top right quarter until it snaps perfectly. Then deselect it. Open the layers panel and select the next disc layer and the next petals layer by swiping right. Tap the transform tool and drag and snap to the top left corner and deselect it. Go back to the layers panel, select the next disc layer and swipe right on the next petals layer. Tap the transform tool and drag to the bottom left quarter and deselect it. Go back to the layers panel, select the fourth disc and swipe right on the fourth petals layer. Tap the transform tool and snap to the bottom right quarter and deselect it. Open the layers panel and merge all five disc layers together. This will flatten all the disc layers into one disc layer. Then merge all five petal layers together. Now we will group the disc, petals and background layer together. So if you swipe right on the two remaining layers and tap group. Double tap new group and rename it to template. This template has the complete pattern tile ready to go and now we'll use it to explore different scales. The best part, you can reuse it anytime. Just duplicate it to make new versions without starting from scratch. Then collapse the first group, hide it by tapping the visibility checkbox and swipe left to lock it. We will now create the pattern in different scales, but we'll need to flatten the template. So if you want to change any of the colors for the disc, petals or background layer, you'll need to do that now. By first selecting your chosen color, then open the layers panel and double tap the layer you want to color in and select fill layer. When you've coloured in your pattern, we can flatten it. You can do that by pinching the template and background together. Or double tap template and select flatten. Now duplicate your flattened tile twice. And hide the first one. We will now work with the visible pattern tiles. Tap the transform tool and scale the layer to the bottom left quadrant and deselect it. Repeat this process with the second tile but this time scale to the top left quarter. And deselect it. Go back to the layers panel and merge these two layers. Then duplicate it. Go back to the transform tool and drag this duplicated layer to the right hand side of the canvas until it snaps perfectly into place and deselect it. Go back to the layers panel and merge the two layers. Then duplicate it twice. Tap, hold and drag the first one onto the previous tile. This will form a group that will contain our scaled down tiles for future use 
as well as keep our project organized. You can double tap this group and rename it to Patterns. Collapse and hide this group. And continue this scale down and duplication process until you have all the sizes you want. Thanks for watching and I hope this tutorial gave you something useful to take away. I've got more simple, seamless pattern tutorials just like this on the channel, so if you're feeling inspired, go take a look. I'd love to see you there. But until next time, keep designing, keep exploring, and enjoy making beautiful things in Procreate. Take care, and bye for now.